Hello and welcome to Am Writing Fantasy. My name is Jesper. Recently, Autumn wrote this massive and very informative blog post on the story structure that we follow ourselves when we plot our novels. It is simple to use and it works. So uh, I'll link to that article so that you can go and check it out. It's very, very helpful. Today, I wanted to record a supplementary video, I guess you can call it, with seven steps of my own. So Autumn had seven steps in her article, so I will use seven steps here today as well. And seven steps to help you finish writing your novel. All right, let's just dive straight in here. Number one is to start with a plan. If you plan out what you're going to write, it'll serve as a roadmap for your story and it'll help you to stay on track. I know that outlining is not for everyone and that's fine, of course. It's not that you have to outline here. That's not what I'm trying to say. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Although sort of like with your kids, when you tell them that they should try to taste the food before they say they don't like it, the same thing applies with outlining here. So at least try it out once before you say that outlining is not for you. But other than that, uh, even a loose and more high level plan will increase the likelihood of you finishing that novel of yours. And this is where Autumn's article will come in incredibly handy. No matter if you want to like go deep with plotting or if you just want to do some shallow high level planning, both cases will be covered by Autumn's article. All right, the second thing that will help you finish your novel is not to put yourself under unnecessary strains when it comes to your writing schedule. Try to be a bit realistic. You've probably heard this said before, but that's because it's true. Writing a novel is a marathon, not a sprint. You really need to be realistic about your writing schedule if you're going to complete your novel. So try to aim for a number of words or pages that you want to write every day. And it doesn't have to be a lot if you don't have the time for it, but even sticking to like 200 words or 500 words a day, it's better than setting a target for yourself of 2000 words and then you start failing it constantly and you lose your motivation. So a little is better but you do need something rather than nothing as well. So what I'm saying here might sound completely obvious to you, but you would be surprised how many authors actually struggle with this particular element. And what I just said here actually leads straight into the next one. And before I share what it is, I just want to bring in a small caveat first as well, because there is something I want to say about it in, in about a minute or so, but let's just cover the advice first. And that advice is that you should write every day. So you see that links to what I was just talking about. And it is 100% true that consistency is a key when it comes to writing and also finishing a novel. If you write, even if it's just 100 words a day, it all helps to build towards writing being a habit and thereby also pushing you towards finishing your work. It will help you to stay motivated, but also keep the story fresh in your mind. So every day when you sit back down to write your 100 words, if that's all you have time for, then you remember what you wrote yesterday. You remember where you're going because of the planning. So it just makes everything flow that much easier. And while it is important to make writing a priority, I want to say that you shouldn't forget about the advice that I just gave before, namely creating a realistic writing schedule for yourself. So this is going to be one of those both and caveats that I'm going to give here. And some hate those, but I have to say it nevertheless. On one hand, if writing every day is virtually impossible for you due to those other commitments, then don't. Just come up with another writing schedule which you feel like you can respect and adhere to. But the thing is that you do come up with another writing schedule. It's not so that you just write whenever you feel like it or, well, I had a bit of time 
I have a bit of time this week, so I will write and then maybe I'll write again next week. Put some sort of schedule together so you do make a habit out of it and it becomes a priority in your life. So on the other hand, you, you could then say the point is that being busy cannot be an excuse to not write. We are all busy, but writing is important if you want to finish that novel of yours. So set a schedule, make sure it's realistic. It doesn't have to be every day if you feel that's impossible, but there has to be writing set aside every week at some point. There just has to. All right, the next advice is one that I personally struggle a bit with. I'm, however, very lucky and fortunate that I have Autumn taking care of it So for our books, and that is editing. See if you can embrace the editing process. As I said, I struggle with it. I don't really like editing that much, but Autumn is a wizard at it, so she takes care of it. Lucky me, again. But it is a chance to improve upon your work, and it does form an integral part of finishing your novel. So it's easy to say that you should learn how to love editing, especially given what I just said about my view on editing, but none of that changes how you do need to spend time editing your novel and making it the best it can be. Another piece of advice when it comes to finishing your novel is to find an accountability partner. So you can use the Am Writing Fantasy Facebook group if that's what you want to do. That's absolutely fine. But speaking your goals out aloud and have somebody hold you accountable to reach those goals, they, those can really help you. It doesn't work for everybody, but for a lot of people, it really helps. Because writing can be such a solidary pursuit. Uh, but as I just said, it doesn't have to be. I should also mention here that taking breaks is actually a good way to ensure that you finish your novel. That might sound pretty counterintuitive, I guess, <laughs> but when you take a second to think about it, it's actually not. Writing can be mentally exhausting, so go for a walk, read a book maybe, or do something else that you enjoy to give your mind a rest once in a while. That will help you stay fresh and also really avoid burnout, which is a problem for many authors, especially those who try to write really fast and write a lot. They do the risk burnout. So taking some breaks will help. And finally, don't forget to celebrate your achievements. This is something, again, that Autumn and I, we are notoriously bad at doing. We never celebrate our achievements. We finish something and then we just jump, jump straight on to the next thing and start writing that or whatever it may be or record a new video or, and so on and so forth. And that's not good. You know, you should try to maybe, once you reach the half mark of your novel, prepare or agree with yourself it's usually easiest to agree with yourself, isn't it? But agree with yourself what you want to do in terms of celebrating that you now have completed half of your first draft, for example. When you finish your full first draft, prepare something you want to celebrate at that point. Maybe you treat yourself to a nice dinner together with your family at a restaurant or something like that, you know. And you can also put in a celebration milestone once you complete your editing stage and then when you finally publish. You should recognize yourself and your own work. And writing is a journey. So every step of the way towards completing that novel, well, it gives cause for celebration, doesn't it? So there you have it. Seven steps to finishing you writing your novel. Number one, start with a plan. Number two, create a realistic writing schedule. Number three, write every day almost every day. <laughs> Number four, embrace editing. Number five, find an accountability partner. Number six, take breaks. And number seven, celebrate success. By following these seven steps, you can stay motivated and make steady progress towards that goal of yours of finishing a novel. As promised, I will link to the step-by-step guidebook that Autumn and I wrote on how to plot a novel from scratch and also that article that Autumn wrote. Both resources will be tremendously helpful for you, I promise. And 
there is even in that article of autumns there's even an infographic very nice looking one she did good there uh, that you can download as a printable cheat sheet and put on your desk next to you when you write so good luck and happy writing